Okay, today we're going to learn how to install an extruder fan in bed. Now the MKS Gen version 1.4 is somewhat unique in that it has two different connections for thermistors and a fan and a heat bed. So you can vary these a little bit, but what we want to do is we just want to do one extruder, one fan, and one bed. So this would be our digital pin 7 for heating the bed. This would be digital pin 10. This would be digital pin 9. And this will be digital pin 8. So we're going to put the extruder on 10, the fan on 9, and the bed on 8. So I'll show you how to do this real quick. So for the heat bed, the plus and minus doesn't matter, so we're going to hook it right in here. And tighten it down. Let's do the other one. There we go. Let's move this off to the side for the moment and I'll show you the thermistor in a second. Now the fan is unique in that we have to have a plus and a minus. So the minus goes in first right here then the plus go. Let's move this off to the side. And finally, the heat bed, which goes in here. And plus and minus as well doesn't matter in this case. Okay, so now that we've got that taken care of, we need to do the thermistors. So we have thermistor 1, two and three. So the hot end will go to one and then the heat bed will go to two. And so the next thing that we need to do is load the firmware. So what we need to do is connect our USB serial cable so the big end is going to go in here and the small end will go into the computer and in a moment I'll show you how to load the Marlin firmware. Now you will hear a beep when this is connected and here we go. Okay the first thing we want to do is open up marlin-bugfix-2.0.x then we want to open up the Marlin subfolder, the source folder, and then the core folder. Inside the core folder, we want to open up boards.h. And what we're searching for inside boards.h is the MKS version 1.3 or 1.4 for our board type. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to close out of here. We're going to go up a directory, then another directory, and then we're going to open up the marlin.ino file. Okay, now we're going to select the configuration.h and we're going to do a search on motherboard. And as you can see, it has the default motherboard of board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore efb. 
So we're going to replace that with what we just copied. So we're going to paste it here. So now we have board underscore MKS underscore gen underscore one three. The other thing that we need to look into is thermistors. So let's do a search on that. And as you can see, we have our thermal settings down here. And each one of these numbers corresponds to a type of thermistor. In this case, the one that I normally use is eight, but you'll have to research what you work with. But in this case, there's a default of one. So you can change that to an eight. And then down below, there's a choice for the heat bed, which we gotta find here. There it is. So temp sensor zero is actually our first heat bed. So what we're gonna say, we're gonna call that eight as well. Next thing we wanna do is search on thermal runaway. So I'm just gonna search on runaway. And what we have here is thermal protections. Now these should always be on as well as you should be in the room when printing for safety's sake. So always leave these enabled. So next thing what we need to do is load the actual firmware. So our chipset's gonna be the Mega 2560. So we're good there. Now we need a port. So we're gonna select COM port three. And then all we have to do is compile and upload with the upload button. And in a moment in Pronterface, I'll show you how to test it. Okay, off camera, I hooked up the power supply, which I'm gonna plug in right now. So keep in mind that uh, when this is energized, it's not super safe. So keep your hands away from this area. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you in Pronterface how we're gonna test it. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is open up Pronterface. We want to connect to the MKS Gen version 1.4. And so the first thing that I want to test is the actual fan. In order to do that, we need to type in a G code. So it's M106 space P0. And then the fan speed will say is 200. And when I press enter, I'll show you what happens. Okay, so as you can see, the fan went on. So to turn it off, one of the methods that we can use is to change the speed to zero. So let's see what happens. Next thing that I wanna test is the actual power for the hot end. So I'm gonna set it to, we'll say 50 degrees Celsius and click set and see what happens. So as you can see, the temperature is rising for the hot end right over here to 50 degrees Celsius. So next, let's try the heat bed. So we'll set that to 40 degrees Celsius and click set and see what happens. So it appears to be rising as well. So to turn them off, all you have to do is click the switch off over here for the bed, and then you can switch off for the hot end over here. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe, and thank you for your time.